What's going on guys, Ava here and welcome back to a brand new video today and welcome to the last question mark challenge for the British Grand Prix here at Silverstone Circuit. We're going to be driving today as Lewis Hamilton in his Mercedes car and trying this challenge ahead of the real life British Grand Prix tomorrow. Uh, of course we're using the 2017 mods here so we're going to be starting P20 which is last on the 2017 grid. It's the same mod I use for my career mode and this uh, challenge, this video, uh, this attempt of the challenge at Silverstone may be a bit more tasty than previous ones we've done because of course we are in that Mercedes car, you know, one of, one of the fastest cars on the grid, if not the fastest car right now at the moment in real life Formula 1 just pipping the, the Ferrari car obviously in the last race we had Austria with Bottas so it should be an actual good uh, chance that we could actually get from P20 all the way to P1 potentially even, so we'll have to see. Obviously the start's going to be quite crucial to not get bogged down by any kind of slower cars, so let's just get straight into this. We go to 5 red lights for the British Grand Prix, 5 lights have gone out and we're underway here, we've got 13 laps ahead of us, as usual it's a 25 percent race to add that little bit more extra challenge factor to it because it means we can't waste lap time we can't waste laps and getting stuck behind cars that i just mentioned before and we've already got up into uh, p17 we're going to dive down the inside of so many cars here into village section we're up into p13 trying to go around the outside to keep that p13 of the uh, toros of carlos Sainz, and we just get it on the exit a little bit of wiggle on the rear end as the back end steps out but we're now behind one of the two renault cars here as we go down towards the little section it's jody and palmer with the hulkenberg up ahead of one of the Haas cars there. So can we try and get it on the exit, perhaps, of Palmer? No, we cannot. We're going to have to try and just wait and hang around. We can usually get pretty damn good traction off this exit against the AI in pretty much most of the races we do here at Silverstone. So can we potentially make a move into the old turn one, which will be cop? Surprisingly, at the moment, it doesn't look like we have the straight line speed to actually make a move down the inside as you go back on board with ourselves through cops. You can see Palmer goes wide, though. So we do make the move eventually there. So Jolly and Palmer just making a mistake on the exit of the corner. And so now as we go through, through Mac and Beckett's can we try and just size up a move basically trying to get into the correct racing line to get the best run up this corner as we go down the back straight here of course no DRS quite yet but we'll have the slipstream as we can see a few moves being pulled off ahead of us there so some side by side, side action between Lance Stroll that'll be and Nika Hulkenberg we're going to just make sure we get the move done on Roman Grosjean and then we'll think about making the move on Nika Hulkenberg as he's been squeezed out by Lance Stroll we'll dive it down the inside of the chicane very very close stuff hit the apex squeeze him out and we're up into P10 already and it's not even the end of lap one so just showing the real power of the Mercedes car we did the last question mark challenge of course with Pascal Verline last week uh, at uh, Austria and uh, it took us the entire 25% race to even get to this position P10 so you can just clearly see the difference of uh, the ease of getting up to P10 although saying that though as we go on up this top 10 order it may get progressively harder you would hope so as we get to the faster cars obviously but saying that we pretty easily nip down the inside of Lance Stroll they're using obviously the superior downforce we'll have in the Mercedes car uh, down the inside of the old turn one and now through into the middle of lap two trying to chase after the next car which will be his teammate Felipe Massa and you can see on the mini map there not too far ahead are the rest of the top 10 so I think we really do have a very good chance of getting P1 here as we move on to lap three we're going to make a diving lunge on the inside of the village section here on Felipe Massa he actually puts up a fight to be fair to him so we're trying around the outside actually break a little bit earlier to try the switch back doesn't work out on me actually I get it horribly wrong on the traction zone there and get caught out so we're going to have to wait and open DRS down the main straight here towards the field and try and make that overtake pass maybe on the exit maybe even down the inside there we're a little bit impatient we go down the inside squeeze Massa out and that was a very very hasty move there got impatient after we tried to make the move just beforehand didn't work out so I just wanted to get it done uh, even before we get to Lurfield there so now we can now chase after uh, Esteban Ocon and the two force Indies there Ocon and Perez lining a stern like they have done so many times in real life of course they did the same exact thing in the last race at Austria and I wouldn't be surprised if they do the exact same uh, thing come tomorrow at Silverstone around the British Grand Prix but now we're on lap 4 we're going to have DRS wide open here and can we make a similar move at, on Ocon like we did on Massa we're a bit far back to be honest so I think we're going to have to wait behind through Liffield but we'll get a really good exit once again and just like we did on Stroll perhaps make the move down the inside of Cops so just lining up the move failing throttle on third gear get the power down we could actually get an even better run here than we did on Stroll so by side so so close just tapping Esteban Ocon's rear right tire there can we make the move they're going to be very very close going to have some dirty air here and we actually get pinched off into the apex and we get a bit of dirty air off the back of that force in that we go a little bit off circuit there just like Palmer did on lap one so we stick behind but we're going to go through Magnus and Beckett's fly through with so much commitment here in this Mercedes car the Mercedes and the Ferrari car those two cars if you're driving those cars with the 2017 mod through that section it is really just so satisfying because you can literally just chuck it in and have so much confidence 
on the gearbox, on the downforce, that the car's just going to slow down even without braking, pretty much just with engine braking. And now as we go through uh, Stowe, we're going to make a move down the inside of the chicane. It's going to be a double overtake, it looks like. Yes, it is on the 2 4 Indians caught Perez napping there. And that's a brilliant little move to make a double pass on the two pin cars. And so as we move on to lap five, we're already up into P6. So brilliant progress. You can see side by side, the two cars go into turn one. It's Valtteri Bottas who gets squeezed out by the Red Bull car. We're going to dive down the inside of Village. So we make another pass here. So by the time we get to even before second, to one of lap five we're up into p5 so pretty much absolutely sensational start to this entire race and we're just about halfway through this grand prix and we've already got up to uh you know uh, three quarters of the grid uh, exactly because we've got five spaces left but bottas with an issue there because he's been overtaken by perez so i'm not too sure it's actually gone on to be honest so bottas definitely having some sort of uh, i don't know uh, ers issue brake issue gearbox issue, i don't know he's gone back down behind perez as now you can see one of the red bull cars did come into the pits as we go sideways a little bit through the final corner but we're now up into p3 and then subsequently on the next lap uh, towards the end of that same lap, lap six you can see the other red bull car does come in of max verstappen and as we come around the final corner you can see on the mini map as well reichen is going to be also in the pit so as we come across the line we're going to be up into p1 of the grand prix so we are in p1 for now but obviously we have to make our pit stop yet but we're getting a lot longer on the super soft tires pretty much because the tire wear is not too difficult uh, especially on the 25 percent race so just taking them as long as we can by the end of lap seven though i do feel like the lap times are dropping a little bit for us and the grip is just decreasing a bit too much to the point where we're not probably gaining enough time to stay on the super soft so we do come into the pits now for our pit stop and uh, well we'll see where we come out we'll come out probably in p5 still ideally i want to come out in p4 maybe jumping at least one of the Red Bull cars. Um, obviously, I don't think we'll be uh, jumping one of the Ferrari cars. I think the Ferrari cars were one, two, followed by the two Red Bull cars. Obviously, our teammate went down the order and he pit very earlier uh, in the Grand Prix. So let's see as we go down the pit lane. Obviously, at this stage, we actually can't see any of the cars, but hopefully, fingers crossed, we can at least jump one car because that'll make our life a little bit easier. But we've got to, well, this is lap eight now as we've moved on. So we've got, what's that, five laps left in, in the race to make this challenge possible to go from P20 to P1. I'm confident, but let's see as we go around the outside, uh, down the pit lane we're in p6 at the moment so we're behind max verstappen so i don't know how that's exactly worked out because we've got the two ferrari cars two red bull cars so naturally i would have thought we would be in p5 but we're in p6 at the moment although we will get the drs on max verstappen down the inside of the uh, towards the end of lap eight through stowe and we'll get up into p5 but i am cross i'm kind of scratching my head to see who this kind of mystery uh, kind of fourth person is here in the top four as we go round the last corner let's see on the top left could we see who it is in the pit lane i think that's someone in the pit it's going to be jolian palmer there so palmer just thought for absolute banter that he'd just go a lot longer i think he was on the soft tires that must have meant and so yeah he just goes a lot longer in the grand prix we've got marcus erickson out of the race uh, so uh, unfortunate for him and the safety car gets called out because of that so actually that may help us out quite a bit there i mean you can see vettel's right there ahead of us so I don't know, actually. It's debatable. I don't know if the safety car would have helped us out or not. We'll see. We'll see. But Ericsson there with an engine failure there. And then behind the safety car, we get very, very close to Vettel's rear end there. Almost looked like he brake checked me. So I come alongside him, just give him a little tap on the right tyre. A little bit of sparks flying there behind the safety car. No no dramas at all. No dramas at all. So now we move on to the end of the safety car period. We're on lap 11, so we'll have two laps left. And on the restart, I try to go down the inside of Vettel. You can see I do make the move under green flags. Then it goes yellow. So I have to let Vettel back through, which is going to hamper me so much now it goes green flag again and so now it goes yellow again so there's been some sort of issue for a car behind us and it's really hampering us because that means Verstappen's right behind us and I would have liked to have made that move on Vettel through the chicane wasn't possible so that's what I meant by I don't know if it'll hinder me or kind of help me this safety car because in reality Vettel wasn't too he wasn't too far ahead of me uh you know before this safety car came out so I thought I could have actually got the move done earlier because now we go side by side awesome stuff though to be fair with Vettel as he keeps it around the outside I was quite surprised actually that he actually put up a fight there for P2 so P2 is not going to be as easy as uh, some of the other positions were as we go down the inside now we're going to go around the outside for Luffield this will be try and squeeze him out there on the exit and we all get it around the outside so now we try and chase Riken as best we can for P1 but um you could see they were very very weird after the safety car came in it was green flag under green flag I dived I, I dived down the inside then it went yellow as I made the move so I had to give the uh, place back to Vettel so unfortunate because we do set a purple lap time there on lap 12 and then even on lap 13 we're going very very quick with purple uh, sectors all around the lap trying our hardest but it's just no use you can see there visually the gap is just too large and yeah just kind of scratching my head really I think we could have actually maybe got P1 
if it hadn't been for the safety car. I think because of that whole yellow flag debacle with Vettel at the end there of the safety car ending, I think that kind of stopped us getting P1 for sure on the safety car. So, uh, to be fair, I shouldn't feel too disheartened. I mean, we've still got P2, so P20 to P2 is a very, very respectable uh, attempt at the challenge, I feel. Obviously, in real life, it's a lot harder to do so because you have so much dirty air, whereas on the game, the slipstream is so powerful that you can just make the moves on the AI and you get a lot of good straight line speed down the main straights. But Kimi Raikkonen wins this one with Lewis Hamilton ourselves in second place with Sebastian Vettel in third place. And on that note, let me know what you think, guys, will be the uh, main race results in the real-life Grand Prix. Obviously, tomorrow it is, it is the British Grand Prix. So do let me know your predictions for, I don't know, the top three or the top five. At this point, you guys would have seen the qualifying. I'm pre-making this video ahead of time. So I don't know what, the, what happened in qualifying, but do let me know what you guys think will happen in the race. If you did enjoy this challenge video, though, hit that like button. Let me know what you thought in the comments below. And you know, then do get subscribed for weekly Formula 1 content. I've been over. Hope you the rest of your day. This has been the last to question mark challenge with Lewis Hamilton. P20 to P2. Pretty damn decent. Hope you enjoy the rest of your day. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.